What's up guys? Today I'm going to be installing this uh, 50 watt solar panel to the hood of my Jeep Gladiator. This is uh, by Lenson Solar. Um, this here is the charge controller that I'll be connecting under the hood. And then you'll need something to clean the hood off with. And I'm going to try to use some masking tape to kind of help me put this on. And then you'll also need some, uh, I'm going to use this uh, 3M Super Strength molding tape on the back side of the solar panel because this is not included. Um, with the kit, you can get a, a vinyl sticker that goes on the hood, but I'm choosing just to stick it straight to my paint with the molding tape. But you can also uh, stick the vinyl on here. You just have to remove your windshield uh, rests. You'll pop, pop the hood, take the insulation off the inside, unbolt these or unclip them, and then uh, stick that sticker on. And then you'll stick this the solar panel directly to the vinyl. So I'm going to start off by cleaning the hood, and then we will go from there. Alright, now that I've got the hood clean, I'm going to go ahead and flip over this solar panel. I'll give it a nice wipe down with some rubbing alcohol. Now I'll go ahead and uh, stick the 3M tape on it. So before I put the solar panel on the hood, I'm going to go ahead and mount the charge controller and hook up the wires to the positive and negative of the battery. Alright, so I got the negative connected and the positive connected. Now I got this, uh, these big sheets of Velcro off of uh, Amazon. They have a stick side on one side. I'm just going to stick it right to this carpeted part on my battery cover. It comes with uh, the other side, so if you wanted to stick it to anything else, it's got like a smooth surface, I would stick it right here, but then my hood's gonna hit it. So I'll peel this off, stick it on the back, and stick it straight to my battery. Right there. It shouldn't go anywhere. Now I'll just, uh, Lay these back here so that when I stick the solar panel on, I can run the cables up over here and connect them. As you can tell, I got a lot of different accessories wired up. I, I have a mess of wires right here I really need to clean up, but that is for a future project. So let's uh, stick the panel on and get it all hooked up. So we'll get the panel kind of positioned where we want it. Want to make sure it's decently centered and spaced correctly in between the two uh, windshield rests. And then I'm going to want to make sure I can get some something to be able to put on top of the solar panel to get some weight on it so that it adheres to the hood. All right, so now that I got that taped down, I've got this torn a little bit so that I should be able to flip it forward. I'm going to carefully flip it forward and remove the back side of all the double stick tape. Alright, so now I got this put on. I need you to grab the 
cinder blocks for me right there, please. I'm gonna try to weigh this down. I don't know if this is gonna be enough weight or not. Down for you. Yeah. Uh. All right, so I ended up flipping this brick up on its side and then getting the full weight of the jerry can pretty much on top of it. Here, let me actually, if I flip it like this, there we go. So that's pushing down right on the front lip. That way that front lip's gonna adhere really good. Now, we'll wait a few hours and then I'll come back and hook it up. All right, so now now that I've ran the wire from the solar panel to the hood, I'm gonna kinda tuck it away a little bit. And then I'll hook this up. Boom. And boom. So I'll just shove the extra wires down here. Out of the way. Close the hood. Here's the final product. It seemed to have sticked very well. It seems like it sticked in every spot, so I shouldn't have any problems with leakage or anything. The wire isn't doesn't seem like it's too tight, so that's good. I probably could have put a little bit more adhesive under this corner right here, but I think it should be all right. I think I got enough on there to where it's not gonna go anywhere. This up here is where the wire goes in and there's, it's still able to move, so that means it's not getting pinched. It is pretty tight though, but it's definitely not getting pinched. So now that the install is complete, I should be able to run uh, different accessories without my battery being drained during the day. And the main reason for this was my 12 volt fridge that I'm going to be running in the back. So while I'm overlanding, it'll, the battery and everything will be getting charged while I'm driving. And then once I park to set up camp before dark, this is going to keep my battery topped off until it gets dark out. Then once it gets dark out, uh, my fridge just shouldn't be running that much because it'll be cooler out. And then if my battery ends up dying in the end, uh, once the sun comes up in the morning, it'll charge it up enough to where I'll be able to start the vehicle again. So yeah, super straightforward install, not too hard. The, the hardest part is probably just aligning the solar panel on the hood to make sure it's not crooked. And I think I did a pretty decent job. I've definitely done worse, <laughs> that's for sure. But yeah, uh, if you want to check these guys out, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll leave links for the adhesive tape and all that, and that should be it.